Yeah. So, really? see, uh, Sylvester, we have been talking, we have been laughing. Uh, yeah. But my audience do not know who you are. Okay. So, yes. please tell them who you are and tell them what you do. Okay. Um, so, I am Sylvester Sidibani, but everyone calls me Silva. Uh, okay. Silva is a nickname I was given by a friend of mine and I, I adopted it. I okay. Liked it. And it's, it's become my name now. So, everyone calls me Silva. And I come from South Africa. Uh, my my homeland in South Africa being the Limpopo province, the Sikukuni mm. land. That's the land of my forefathers. Uh, but we also, um, on a, a permanent basis, because of economy, chasing economic opportunities, me and my family, we settled in uh, Pretoria, Mamelodi Township. Uh, so that's where I come from. And I am currently in Rwanda, Kigali, at the African Leadership University, as I had already said. And yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm doing entrepreneurial leadership. And I'm one person who is very deeply passionate about mainly uh, three things, if I can say education which goes in line with personal growth and development yeah um that's my area of specialization and also entrepreneurship uh i don't know where i got this but i've since high school i've just grown to be someone who is very passionate about business and entrepreneurship you know i've mm -hmm. always told myself that i'm gonna be a successful uh, businessman you know so okay. uh, business and entrepreneurship as well um and clearly leadership okay and leadership is a very broad concept yeah but leadership in 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 the context of the service of the people community mm. service mm. community development okay. anything that speaks to the development of our communities anything that speaks to advocacy and develop and, and support of the marginalized yeah uh, that's that's where i come in so I, I have worked uh, very for a long time in the education space through nonprofit organizations yeah. in my local community. Uh, to an extent, I even went as far as starting my own nonprofit organization because okay. I identified a gap uh, whereby I, I see there are a, a, a lot of nonprofit organizations, but I was yeah. like, no one is saving my people in the rurals no one is saving my people in my people in um, the, the the remote areas the other yeah. uh, underserved communities and so mm. i came up with this idea of a non-profit organization with a number of uh, programs and services that i'd like to do in underdeveloped communities um, okay uh, and and also in in business, I've tried a number of businesses and failed dismally. <laughs> <laughs> so so, so. Yeah, you are one of us. <laughs> <laughs> I know we we are plenty. <laughs> that's so, that's um, business. Yes. Yeah, so so currently, what I'm currently doing is I'm rebuilding. You know, um, everything in general. I'm rebuilding sort of starting from afresh, but also taking the experience I've had in the past exactly. five years with me as, yep. as the foundation of it all. And I'm saying I'm building on it to build a more solid foundation. That's where I am. So I have an enterprise that I'm, I'm working on uh, that I, I, I cannot reveal much about it because it's still in the ideation okay. stage. So I have that. And, and also, I'm just working on how I can um, implement my mission uh, in the education space. My mission okay. being to foster equitable access to quality education. So hmm. that is the foundation that I'm currently building, mainly okay. in education and entrepreneurship. Okay. See, 